live from the command center of the JW Solo USA. Boys and girls, or ladies and gentlemen, check this out. What do you think? Batteries. Looks like a, was it a Saver? Saver rack batteries here? Let's check it out. This is what we have. Four P eight S modules. Four P eight S modules. This is the barcode. Lithium ion batteries. By LG Cam. Okay, so let's check out the back of these batteries. This is the back of the battery. It's a metal, and the other one has like a rubber seal on them. Probably not to able to um, get in contact with any metal because this one, I think this one act like the neutral. So these batteries, you can mount them by using a rod or mount them on the wall, or you can stack them. So right now, you can see the other side of this battery. It has the rubber seal that protects. See this one peel right here? This is the metal. These are just like isolator. To isolate the battery from arcing, so that's the, the Q, QR code and LG Cam 4P8S configuration. So these are 24 volt modules, 24 volt modules. So um, 8.5 I'll put this, um, the specs on the description below is a 8.5 kilowatt 24 volt battery so two of these 8.4 8.5 times 2 that gives us a 17 kilowatt 17 kilowatt hours of lithium battery right here lithium ion battery this one came out from a low mileage vehicle and uh, everything was just fantastic this is a 20 2021 it's not uh, it's about a year old a year old but I was gonna buy four of these unfortunately the batteries are gone only three left, so I can't buy odd number. I'm not using a 36 volt. You know, I can able to. I'm, I'm preparing for 48 volts. Mostly anything I buy, I'm trying to make sure that these batteries are gonna be configurable for 12, uh, 12, 24, 36, 48. So this one's already configured for 24 volts. So I can just, uh, you know, series them by flipping this guy the other way around and we can have a 48 volt. So I need uh, uh, two pairs of these batteries, but since I end up, uh, it's three left, they have the 36 volt ones, I decide not to go with the 36 volts because I wanna stay this way, they are all stacks. So if you're looking at this, so each of these things a module. One, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. See that? So we have to reverse this one the other way to get, we can parallel positive to positive right there for 24 volt and negative to negative. But if we want to do this, we have to flip the batteries so the inside goes to the black right here 
Okay, let's do that so that you can see what I'm saying before we're gonna do the voltage test. Or maybe let's do the voltage test first and see how everything goes right here at the GW Solar USA live in Minnesota. Check this out. So let's get our meter ready, fluke meter, and uh, we're gonna stick this thing. That's the terminal right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'll try having it this way. And uh, go back right here and stick it right here. See, trying to use one hand here. Okay, now it's easy. Yeah, this one here sits on that corner right there. And get this one out there. And let's try it. 30.2 volt. So, this is what I'm talking about here. 30.2 volt. So let's try this other one and see what's the voltage gonna give us. All right. Now we already lined them up and let's see how this guy is gonna work. So come back here. This is the negative right here. See the minus and the plus right here. 30.2, remember that. And I'll get this guy here and take these probes Sit that guy right there. There you go. Thirty points zero four. Let's try it again here and see if we have the correct reading. Thirty points, you can see boy point three, thirty point two. So just about a two hundred of a volt deviation for the all setup well so I'm not gonna worry about that and they all balance okay if I want it I can just um, put it together in a way um, the uh, parallel setup or the yeah parallel setup then we can have them all parallel so they can be balanced right Stay tuned, like and subscribe. For the 48 volts configuration, we're gonna be flipping this battery that like I, I mentioned. So this guy is gonna go around. Okay. If we wanna run them on the 12 volts configuration, we have to go this way and get the batteries configured this way so negative and negative we have something the backs are all exposed here we can just put something in between we don't want them to touch each other so now we have positive to the positive channel uh, uh, bus and here to here negative so 48 volt we can flip it over this is how the 48 volts gonna look like so it's a negative here that's a positive and we draw from this side or negative positive we series it from here and do that if we keep having four of these 
we just keep on doing the same rotational way and we have the 4p 8s this you have to reverse i think that's what it is you reverse the module so this is how it look like so i don't have um a server rack but this is going to look like it's a server rack batteries for me so jw solar will stay in the loop can't can stay behind lagging behind so this is going to be my server rack version so i can mount this i can do a lot of stuff with these batteries i'm saying probably it's going to be four four to five inches or four and a half inches um, wide here i'm going to say approximately one and a half one foot maybe 15 inches something like that 12 or 15 but i'm going to see the uh we all description the specification and the description below now i can't say a lot about it until we started put them to work we have this place here we can able to mount these batteries and all the way the holes get all the way through this is all dirt back here because it's the, the rubber see like a silicone whatever it is so they look good thanks for watching we're gonna be making more videos on this LG cam batteries here live at the command center of the JW Solar USA that's the QR code scan that to tell you everything about this thanks for watching love you guys all stay tuned and stay blessed